Hey guys, it's Kingdom Orange 2 here, and welcome back to my channel. With the epic blockbuster and live-action Barbie movie having just been released in theaters like a week ago, I thought for today's video would be fun if I went back and actually ranked all of the actresses who've ever played Barbie. Now straight off the bat, I realize that this ranking isn't going to be completely fair for a couple of different reasons. One of them being that Barbie's character and personality changes depending on what form of medium she's in, but I still tried to take a lot of that into account when making this list. Also real quickly, this list is only going to include actresses that Mattel officially approved of. So I'm sorry to Paris Hilton, but she will not be on this list for Barbie and those robot chicken sketches. So without further ado, let's get right into it. At the bottom of the list, number nine is Sharon Lewis. I can't believe it. We danced all night. Who could that be? The one place we haven't performed is out of this world. Thanks so much, Dr. Leonard. We'll never forget you. So Sharon Lewis only ever voiced Barbie for this one TV special called Barbie and the Rockers Out of This World in 1987. And while I do realize this movie is over 35 years old, I don't understand why they made Barbie sound so old in this special. I get that Barbie has this more mature aspect to her voice, but this just isn't it? I will say though that Sharon does a really good job at that Barbie cadence. I don't really know how to explain it, but maybe some of you will know what I'm talking about in the comments down below. Number eight is Chris Anthony Lansdowne. Click on one of these exciting places, then let's create some cool clothes to wear there. Sandy, look what I found in the book. It's a piece of the treasure map. Tations, a cake, and my dress of course. But how will I recognize Ken after all these years? So Chris Anthony was never actually the voice actress for Barbie in any movies or TV specials, but she did play her in a variety of commercials and computer games, so I decided to include her on this list. Now, I can see why they cast Chris to play Barbie. She does a very good job at this, like, perfect Barbie voice. But for me personally, I also think she just sounds way too old again. I also feel like Chris is a bit robotic when she talks, which is fine, but I feel like other voice actresses on this list do a better job at making Barbie sound a certain way, but also convey a bit more emotion. Number seven is Diana Corina. <laughs> not sure. Um, maybe if I can go back and get my stomach, I'll ask it. She's not. No one can make you feel inferior. Not without your consent. And all the way to Paris, it's the most romantic thing I could ever imagine. So when Diana Carina replaced Kelly Sheridan as the new voice actress for Barbie, she got a lot of slack from people online over it. And she was eventually replaced with Kelly only after like four films. In Diana's defense, I don't think her voice is particularly horrible, but I still think it's way too mature for Barbie. I don't know, maybe that's not really the case and I just don't like her voice, but... It's not great. Number six is America Young. I am so sorry about this, your highness. It is your highness, right? Hey, hey, hey! Thanks for watching my video. I have the best time making content for you all. Not what I meant, but very cute. Just promise you'll work with me until everyone gets back. Every time I hear America speaking as Barbie, I think of how when she voices Twirly, she has this like purr to her voice and it really distracts me. Wow, what did you do? I know obviously her Barbie voice is closer to how she naturally sounds, but sometimes I expect Barbie to turn into a cat or something. Jokes aside, I feel like America does do a good job at making Barbie sound like a teenager, which is closer to how she is portrayed in the newer Barbie movies. However, I still feel like America's Barbie seems kind of awkward and that she's always nervous about something. I know that in these films, Barbie isn't supposed to be like perfect, but I feel like there's other actresses on this list who do a better job at making her sound more like chill. Number five is Erica Lindbeck. Oh, a stick. Cool. Still working on that too? I do. I'm the one that needs to beat all of the levels. You brought me here for a reason, right cutie? There's no gravity in here. Can you use your powers to take us down closer to the center of the planet? So Erica Lindbeck became the new voice of Barbie in 2015 when Barbie stopped really playing characters in her movies and started just playing herself like a spy or a video game designer. What I like most about Erica's voice is it's really clear and confident and has this really like 
calm air to it, if that makes sense. I was totally on board with her being the new voice of Barbie after Kelly Sheridan, but Erica ended up getting replaced with America Young when the Barbie movie started to follow the events of the Barbie Dreamhouse Adventure series. Fun fact though, they did bring Erica back to voice Princess Amelia in the Barbie Princess Adventure movie, and I thought it was really cool hearing them speak with each other, but you could clearly tell Erica was doing a better job. Number four is Kate Higgins. Next up, the style switcheroo. A model needs to master the quick change. Stacy really loves birthdays, but she takes them very seriously. Maybe a little too seriously. Actually, a Pilates instructor, scuba chef, and professional business executive consultant. I think Kate Higgins is honestly such a talented voice actress. She can do Barbie, she can do Frankie. She was even the voice of Aurora in Ralph Rex the Internet, even though Aurora's voice actress is still alive, so I don't know why they didn't use her, but I digress. What I like most about Kate's voice is that she makes Barbie sound like this bubbly, friendly girl, exactly what you would imagine your Barbie doll to sound like in your head. It also works really well with her persona in the cartoon, and I would even say it has this unnatural cheeriness to it, almost in a robotic sense. I just love how Kate makes Barbie this always cheery girl who, even when she's uncomfortable or in bad situations, manages to find the positive from it. Number three is Jody Benson. Ken doesn't know, I know, but this is where he planned to have our very first kiss. Remember, please discard all candy wrappers and popcorn containers in the nearest trash receptacle. Thanks! But I got this one covered. Again, come with me for a minute. So most of us probably know Jodie Benson to be the voice of Ariel, and you would think with a voice as iconic as hers, it would be hard for her to sound like a different character when she does voice acting. But honestly, I think she does a really great job with differentiating the two characters here. Now, when making this list, I really went back and forth with how to rank Jodie and Kate. Honestly, their voices are very similar. They both portray Barbie as this perfect girl who can do no wrong. But when it came down to it, I just think Jodie's is a bit better, and what really made me come to this conclusion was mostly in the scenes when Barbie would get upset or super angry, Jodie would still be able to carry her Barbie-esque voice. Number two is Kelly Sheridan. We'll all be living under a, a dark cloud. No laughter, no music, just sadness everywhere. Come on, I had to. We're slammed if we're gonna be ready before the guys play the beat to beat contest tonight. Hi there, it's me, Barbie. Come join me beyond the rainbow. I know for a lot of us, Kelly Sheridan was like the Barbie voice of our generation, so I really tried to not let nostalgia take over when doing this ranking. However, it's still very clear to me that Kelly Sheridan is an excellent fit for Barbie's voice. It's got that sweet and soft aspect to it, which Barbie's voice really needs, but it's also mature sounding. Honestly, I wondered if Kelly sounded too mature, but when going back and listening to her voice for Barbie in my scene and in other movies when she specifically plays a teenager, her voice still works really well. Also, while Kelly never technically played Barbie as a doll, the reason I decided to include the clip from the DVD menu was that you could clearly tell that Kelly would still be able to do a great job at it if she was given the chance. I know we will probably never hear Kelly as a voice of Barbie again, but I hope they make an exception for her in the future. Finally, at number one is Margot Robbie. Sure. I don't have anything big planned. Just a giant blowout party with all the Barbies and plant choreography and a bespoke song. You should stop by. Do you guys ever think about dying? It's the real world. <laughs> What's going on? Why are these men looking at me? Yeah. Heels are on the ground. I really heavily debated putting Margot Robbie on the top of this list because I didn't want this ranking to be super predictable. There's also the fact that she kind of has this unfair advantage because not only is she voicing Barbie, but she's also acting as her too. But in all honesty, Margot Robbie did an exceptional job at playing Barbie. I felt like Margot did really well with mastering Barbie's sort of plastic movements, especially in the eyes and face, and even did a pretty good stereotypical Barbie voice. Now to be completely fair to the other ladies on this list, her Barbie voice isn't really the best of them. It's a bit raspy for me, but at the end of the day, I really appreciate the amount of hard work and dedication Margot Robbie put into playing this role. I'm so glad that after many movie rewrites and recastings, Margot Robbie got the title role in the end. Alright, well, that was my ranking for the actresses who've played Barbie. Make sure to tell me down below how you would have ranked this list and if you agreed with my opinions or not. Also, if you liked my video, feel free to check out both my Instagram and TikTok pages. There I post more doll-related content as well. If you liked this video today and want to see more content in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up.
Thank you guys so much for watching today, and I will see you soon. Bye!